Okay, so for the following circuit here, uh, we have to find the equations for IO, VO, and I for all times, and assuming that the switch was open for a long time. So, uh, so at t when t is zero, uh, that's when we close the switch. So let's uh, focus on the circuit before we close the switch. So when t is uh, less than zero. So for when t is less than zero, the circuit looks like this. And then we have IO in this direction and I in this direction. Now, we're going to make the assumption that uh, the switch was open for a long time, which is set right here. So that means the voltage at this uh, inductor is going to be equal to the capacity, sorry, and it's going to be equal to the inductance value times the change in current over the change in time. And since it's been closed for a long time, we're going to assume time is infinite. So that means V will be zero. And if V is zero, then that means we can replace this with a sh uh, short circuit. And that means all current will be skipping this uh, resistor. So that means the uh, that means the current passing through here will be zero. So we can just ignore this portion of the circuit. So when T is zero, I O is equal to zero volts. Okay. So now we have to find v o and i when t is uh uh sorry yeah when t is less than zero okay so we can quickly just do a mesh let's call this mesh uh i okay so and this is 10 volts sorry i forgot to put that so we see i will be uh so it'll be 10 over 5 so i will be 2 uh amps okay so I will be 2 amps and we can solve for VO. So uh, VO will be the current passing through this resistor times the resistance. So it'll be 3 times 2, which will give me 6. So VO is 6 uh, volts. And this is 6 amps, sorry, my apologies. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got the time for when, it was, when it's less than 0. And this is technically also the time. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, forget what I just said. My bad. Uh, okay. Now, when t is equal to zero, we finally close the switch. So it will look like this. Uh, hold on, let me write the inductor properly. There we go. So it'll be two Henry here, six ohms, three ohms, two ohms here, then 10 volts here. And then the, the current IO is moving through here, and the current I is moving through here. Now, so uh, our the, the circuit we're really uh, focusing on, the portion of the circuit we're focusing on, is the part where, where there's a, the inductor. So notice that this is a sing, uh, This wire has no uh, resistors. Uh, that means all the current pass uh, that that's uh, around here, they will uh, never go, go to here. Okay, they will like you know just go go to here. So that means we can ignore this portion of the circuit. Okay. Now we can start uh, uh, finding a few formulas. So let's find the formula to represent I. So at I, uh, at I T is equal to I at zero times E to the power of T over the time constant. Okay, so I at zero, it was two amps. It was two amps here. Now we have to find the time constant. Time constant is equal to the inductance value all over the resistance equivalent. The inductance value is two Henry's. Resistance equivalent, it will be uh, so the 3 ohm and the 6 ohm are in parallel, so 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 
to the power of minus 1, so that's 2. So the resistance equivalent is 2. So the time constant is 1. So this will just give me 2e to the power of t, and this is in amps. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what we can do now. We now have to find an equation to represent a VO. So how we can represent VO? Well, the problem is we can't use this formula. So at V0 e times T, yes, pretty much this formula. We can't use this formula. The reason is V, uh, wait, sorry, my bad. I'm thinking about the wrong one. Sorry. Ignore what I just said over there. So we sorry. So what I meant? Okay. So the formula I just showed you, we can use that one because VO is six. But there's a much more easier way for us to solve solve for VO. So if we find we can find the voltage at this point. Okay. So if we can find the voltage in this uh, inductor, then that voltage is the same voltage at this region. So to find the voltage. Uh, in a at a conductor, sorry, inductor. It's the inductor inductance value times the change in current over the change in time. So the inductance value is two Henry's. I will be two e to the power of c. So we just have to differentiate uh, this function. So it'll be uh, two, and the derivative of this will be just minus two e to the power of a negative t. So it's minus 4 e to the power of negative t. So this is v, and this is the v value here. So the voltage at this region, it will be represented by minus 4 e to the power of t. Now we have to find vo. Well, vo will be pretty much the uh, positive value of this, because as the current passes through here, vo has to equal, uh, the voltage here has to be 0. So, to, so it'll be minus 4 e to the power of my, negative t minus 0 equals, and since we entered a negative terminal first, it'll be minus vo. The negatives cancel out. So it's 4 e to the power of negative t, and this is equal to vo. Okay? So we can do uh, vo t equals 4 e to the power of negative t, and that's in volts. Now, the part I told you about, like when I said we can't use that formula, I meant to say it for this one, IO. Okay? So the formula IO of t is equal to I, IO at 0 times e to the power of t over the time constant. We can't use for this formula because IO at 0 is zero volts and it kind of doesn't make sense to say that the uh, current passing through here is going to be zero for the, the entire like time like the entire time this switch is closed it doesn't make sense to call this to be zero so this is what we're going to do we know we see the current passing through here is io and io wouldn't that be equal to the voltage here minus uh, the ground node here all over the resistor so the voltage minus the ground node all over the resistor so it'll be minus 4 e to the power of negative t all over 6 and that's just uh, minus 2 over 3 and we just solve for IO so let's put IO here and this will be minus 2 over 3 e to the power of negative t. And this is for all i value. Sorry, this is for when time is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So these are for the, these are the time values for when it's less than 0. And this is when it's greater than or equal to 0.